Hi everybody and welcome to the replay. Today I'll be making a quick card using this Let's Go Fishing um, stamp set. And we'll be building up a fish with three stamps and then using the sentiment and then some other stamps for tone on tone stamping um, just to give some background texture. So let's begin. I've already pre-cut the pieces just so you don't have to see me cutting a uh, cardstock, uh, but I'll give you the dimensions and then we'll put it all together. So first I have my card out of this great cardstock and it is eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half for your standard five and a half by four and a quarter card. I've got a black piece of cardstock that measures a quarter inch smaller all around so four inches by five and a quarter a white piece that's another quarter smaller so it's going to measure 3.75 inches by five inches tall and then this uh, strip that's about one and three quarters by five and a half inches and we're going to layer it up like that after we do some stamping i also have this black scallop circle shape that I had in my stash already cut. And this I did cut with the Cricut. I'm sorry, yesterday I said I had a Cricut cut, but it was actually a uh, a die cut. But this is a Cricut cut and then a white circle to layer on top of it. And then using some punches, and I'll show you what I have. I've collected over the years. I have a one and a half inch, a one and three quarter and a two inch punch so that I can layer some more circles. And so I've got a smaller white on black and then this white on black. So that I'll have three different size um, combinations of black and white circles. So we'll do some stamping on these two sets as well. Let's see here. My inks that I'll be using are Black, Mink, and Heather from Close to My Heart. And of course, um, our shimmer pen. Um, it's it's a clear shimmer. All, and we do have um, black, silver, gold, and some other colors. And then I'll probably add some uh, black dots on it as well and even some mink twine. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna stamp um, this background uh, gray strip. And um, stamping super simple and it's tone on tone so that it's not a huge contrast, but we still have something. So you just take your acrylic stamp, place it on your block, I'll take the the heather ink. I do like to put the um, the foam backing underneath just so that it'll give it some cushion and makes a little bit better imprint. And so I'll just ink it up and randomly stamp it, even going off the edges a little, turning the stamp different ways, getting just partial. Prints. There we go. And let's see. Oh, let me show you my stamp chamois. I keep it moist in a little plastic bag, but you just wipe your stamp off and it's nice and clean. And you can put it back on your carrier sheet. And then let's see the next stamp we will need is this little net and I'm gonna stamp it on this little white the smallest white circle and just kind of random stamping that as well just to fill in the spaces because it's gonna sit like a background so it doesn't need to have any a whole image 
And then again with the stamp chamois, just wipe it off and put it back on the carrier sheet. And then, let's see here. Let's use the outline of the fish that we're gonna use. And we'll do that on the biggest circle. So just ink it up and random stamp it in different um, positions. So you're not getting a whole fish, but just a, a place for the whole fish to sit on. Wipe it off with the chamois. And then I'm going to, just using a scrap piece of white, I'm gonna stamp this fish again using black ink. So I'll ink that up and stamp them down. Get a nice clean edge. Swipe that down. Then, let's see here. This next um, piece is just a partial fish so that we can give him some color. Here, we're gonna do it in the heather, which, which is the second darkest gray, not the lightest gray. And um, hopefully, I can do this, even though camera's a little bit in my way. But should be able to see through and line them up so that you get that color in the fish. Oh, that was pretty good. Even if you're a little off, it just gives some character to your to your fish and that's okay and then we'll take the mink which is the lightest fish the lightest fish the lightest color and we're going to stamp the whole background of the fish and, so, oh. and you can barely see that ink but i promise it's on there and then again line it up with the fish Hopefully I get it right. There you go. And it fills it all in for you. Okay. So I'm clean him off and put him away. And then let's see, I'll just kind of do a little bit of fussy cutting on him. Most of the cardstock I'm using for this project has been scraps, um, other than I used a whole sheet to cut my card base so that I could have the whole length and width that I needed. Um, but everything else has been just from scraps that I had. But you're certainly welcome to use, you know, from a, from a whole sheet of paper. So there's my fish. And I'm going to just use my shimmer brush and put a little bit on his underbelly. I don't even have to be precise with this because you're just going to give it some shimmer. Hopefully you can see that. Oops, there you go. You see the shimmer? So, set that aside. And then our last stamp should be our sentiment. And I'm gonna stamp on there. Let's go fishing. It's gonna fit just barely on my circle. We might get a little cut off. Let's go fishing. Oh, you know what? I don't like that. Let's um let's cut him again. This is a ooh, one and three quarter. So I need a two inch to get that whole sentiment. Let me cut that out. 
and we'll stamp it again. There we go. That's a lot better. And you know what? Let's give um this little a line a little bit of down here to finish off our circle not have all that white space and then what I'm gonna do is maybe let's see here what do I have I have another punch and this one's quite a bit bigger than the two inches but that's okay and I'm going to adhere this onto the black circle. Well, that was a bad idea. Let's try it again. Let's try it again, people. Let's see. The two inch. And then our sentiment. In black. And let's try not to get our dirty hands into the pot again. There we go. I'm gonna put that to the side. Then I'll just adhere this to to the black cardstock. And you know what? This isn't going to be perfect, but this is how we improvise. And I still got a little smudge on there. But we're going to make a little homemade circle. So if you were using a die cutting machine or if you had a two and a quarter inch uh, circle punch, you could definitely get this to be a little prettier but we're gonna go with it so let's sit here all our circles to our bigger circles okay and for this fish I'm gonna use some foam tape on the back just to lift it up And make him have some dimension. And I'll uh, cut it in half so I have some. Oh, that was too big. Live TV. You get to see all the little back tracks you have to make that's okay okay then I'll just peel off that backing the foam tape you can find I think pretty much everything you can find on the website. Um, but also some of this stuff, adhesive and foam tape, things like that you can find um, at Walmart, in the craft section, um, and, and they work well too. Right, so I'm just gonna lay that on. And then you'll see it's got some dimension sits up on the card a little bit all nice and shiny so let me put this to the side I'm gonna start building my card now I did want to use some ribbon so let's see let's get the white onto the black base gives us about 
an eighth of an inch margin all the way around. And then I'm just gonna hold it on the card. I'm not gonna glue it down to the gray card just yet. But I do wanna line it up and then put this right about where I'm gonna go because I'm gonna end up putting some twine over it in just a bit. So let's adhere our circle. Adhere each of these pieces. Oh, you know what? I want to put some foam tape on that as well instead of just laying it flat. Let's see. What if we put our ribbon on now before we get too much further ahead? It's our twine, I'm sorry, not ribbon. So I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times. I'm going to position it a little bit over so that I can still put my sentiment down. Let me cut this off. Okay. So now we peel off our backing tape. You know, I'm not um, used to looking at the comments and doing the card at the same time, so. I'm not ignoring anybody. I just need to learn how to get used to um, looking at all the different positions um, while I'm crafting. And then this little circle is just gonna go tucked under here as a little accent. Let's see here. Now we can Put our adhesive on the back of this card front and put it here. Let's see. Got a little bit of a mess going, but that's okay. It's a good mess. Let's see. Um hmm. just gonna Place our little triangle out here. And that's our card. That's all we need. Um, you can stamp some other sentiment in here if you want, or just leave it blank for writing, you know, your note, um, whatever you want to put in there. Um, it's a great masculine card, or use it for any. Fisher person in your life. Um, it's a fun little card. It's got shimmer. It's got dimension. It came together quick and easy. So thanks for coming. And remember, so today was day two in our 100 days project. And um, I hope to be back tomorrow and make another card with you. I hope you'll join me then. Thanks a lot. Good night.